Oh my god, I'm dying. Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Slay Reviews here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, guys, we're going to be doing Blu-ray hunting round three. And as you can see, I'm not alone. I'm here with my Blu-ray gang. We have Smith Boy Reviews, Alpha Aaron, Cascade, and we also have Steph Games 98. So guys, we are here at this beautiful place we love to call HMV. And so let's go do some Blu-ray hunting. Let's go. So guys, I'm now in HMV, and I've just come across some, some 4K deliciousness. So, for one of the new releases we had this week was Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice Ultimate Edition Remastered for £19.99. Really nice cover for that one. We also have Beverly Hills Cop here. Next title I've spotted is 300 on 4K for £19.99. Pretty good deal for that one and also a fantastic movie. Uh, I've also just spotted the Hobbit trilogy on 4K for £74.99. Really fantastic trilogy. If you guys have not seen it, I definitely highly recommend. We also have the Lord of the Rings trilogy here on 4K for £74.99. Both are absolutely incredible franchises. Uh, we also have here the Japanese exclusive 4K steelbook of Spartacus for £24.99. Really, really nice cover for this one. Uh, next title I have spotted is Pitch Black um, for £14.99, reduced down from £21.99. Pretty good deal for that one. We also have Pet Cemetery here on 4K on a 2 for 30 deal or £19.99. Pretty, pretty good deal for that one too. Uh, we also have, I've just spotted, is Lock Up. That was on a two for thirty deal, ninety pound ninety nine. Pretty good film, especially on four K. That that was a pretty good Sylvester Stallone movie. We also have the Little Mermaid here on four K for twenty four pound ninety nine. Pretty good deal for that one. That movie looks pretty good in four K. Uh, next title we have is Creed two on a two for thirty deal for ninety pound ninety nine on four K. Really really good film. There's a lot of delicious four Ks here, guys. Really really awesome. That's what I like to see. Uh, we are on to the horror section. I've spotted a movie called Awoken uh, for £5.99. Really interesting. Uh, never sleep again. Ugh. Oh gosh, who would definitely not want to sleep? I've also uh, spotted the Blumhouse 10 movie collection for £24.99. Pretty good deal for this one, guys. You get all 10, 10 movies in this. Wow, that was a pretty, pretty good deal for this one. Uh, moving on, we also have an arrow title here on Blu-ray, and that is the Pitch Black, uh, reduced down from £17.99 to £11.99. Fantastic deal for that one also. Pretty good film. Uh, we have Hellraiser there. We see The Lost House. There was a lot of nice arrow, arrow titles here, guys. Uh, we also have the Pacific Blu-ray box set here for £14.99. Pretty fantastic series. If you guys have not seen it, I definitely highly recommend. Uh, we have a HBO Max limited series collection here with The Outsider, Watchmen, and The Night of for twenty-four uh, for twenty-seven pound ninety-nine, reduced down from twenty-nine ninety-nine. P pretty good deal for that one. Uh, we have got a bit of Westworld here for seventeen pound ninety-nine. I've never really watched the Westworld um, fr um, series, but. You know, and for all you Dragon Ball Z fans out there, I found this massive Dragon Ball Z box set here on Blu-ray for £99.99. Uh, for all you Dragon Ball Z fans, I knew you guys would go absolutely crazy for this, and this was the complete series. So, if you guys are interested, come on down to HMV and 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 snag yourself one. Uh, we also have Pacific Rim here on Blu-ray for nine for £9.99. We also have The Matrix here too, with some really, really nice covers for, for, for these Blu-rays. Wow, we also have Mad Max Fury Road here as well for £9.99. Wow, some really, really, really cool covers. Uh, we have Logan's Run as well for £9.99. Wow, I am absolutely loving these artwork on these covers. We got Interstellar here for £9.99 on Blu-ray. Wow, we got Inception here too. I was I was absolutely shocked when I saw these absolutely gorgeous titles, guys. Wow, we even have Gravity here too for nine pound ninety nine. Wow, some really cool artwork here. Uh, we got an arrow title here called Blade the uh, Blade Root of the Immortal. That one that one was a really really cool movie. I, I have seen that movie. Uh, moving back onto the four Ks, I've just spotted uh, the movie Us on a two for thirty deal for for nineteen pound ninety nine. Really really good movie. I, I definitely enjoyed that movie when I picked it up. Uh, but another title, and that is the five-movie collection of Transformers on 4K for £79.99. Wow. 
pretty good deal for that one also considering how many movies there are uh we also have here spider-man far from home on 4k for 14 pound 99 wow that's an absolute bargain right there and also a fantastic movie uh we have ready player one here on 4k on the two for 30 deal or 19 pound 99 really really good deal for that one too uh, we have also a bit of Batman here. We have uh, Batman and Robin uh, f on 4K for £90.99. What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. Uh, we also have Batman Returns on a 2 for 30 deal on £19.99. I have still not yet picked up the Batman um, collection, but I definitely will be picking these up, guys. Uh, we've got Batman Forever here on £19.99 on 4K. Wow. I will definitely be getting that Batman collection for sure. Uh, we also have Batman here on the 2 for 30 deal, £90.99. Wow. I, abs I can't believe that we finally got the Batman movies now on 4K. This is amazing. So guys, we're now finally done in H&V and we have snagged some pretty good stuff. And what I can say is, Steph over here, she grabbed herself some steelbooks and some delicious Blu-rays. This is insane. This is awesome. And over here, we can't forget Smith Boy Reviews. He, sa he, sagged, he snagged himself a delicious Blu-ray, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And, and he also beautiful. got the Into the Spider-Verse steelbook. That is incredible. That is amazing. So, so yeah, guys, this was my Blu-ray hunting vlog. I will show you guys what I picked up when I get home. So this will be awesome. Let's go. So Steph. Let's show the beautiful viewers your pickups. What have you brought today? So I bought Avatar, The Legend of Aang, the complete series. Nice. The Legend of Korra, the complete series. That's amazing. And I bought two steel books when Marine was there and from up on Poppy Hill, both Studio Ghibli Studios. Those are some awesome pickups right there. I bet you're proud. Oh, I'm so pleased. And I bet so all pleased. the viewers on my channel that are anime fans are going to be so proud of you. That is amazing. Some delicious steelbook pickups there. That is awesome. So guys, that pretty much wraps up the Blu-ray hunting vlog. I will show you guys what I what I have managed to snag when I get home. So I'll see you soon. Right. Well, hello everyone. I've just gotten back from the city, and guys, wow, what an absolute successful Blu-ray hunt this was. We managed to snag a lot of 4K delicious steelbooks. You name it. Guys, I'm going to show you what I picked up today, and boy, was it worth it. So let's get into it. So guys, the very first pickup that I got from H&V was on a 2 for 30 deal, and it was Fury on 4K starring Brad Pitt. This movie, guys, was absolutely phenomenal. It looked absolutely gorgeous in 4K. The action was incredible. It was such a great movie, and I enjoyed every single moment. I was on the edge of my seat watching this. Especially in 4K, guys, wow, this was insane. The sound that was coming through my soundbar when all the tanks were firing was absolutely amazing. I got such a really good experience out of this movie. Uh, this movie was on a 2 for 30 deal, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to pick this movie up because I've been holding off on it for so long, and today was the day that I managed to pick up this bad boy, and I'm so glad I did. It was definitely worth watching. Guys, if you have not seen the movie Fury, I highly recommend you do. It was such a great film. And yeah, I was really, really glad to pick this up. Uh, from what, for my second pickup I got on 4K was Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice Ultimate Edition Remastered. I did hear that Zack Snyder was, was re remastering this movie. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to pick this movie up. Even, even, even though it wasn't that good, I still enjoyed it. And it looked amazing in 4K. I am both a fan of both Batman and Superman. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to buy this. It was only for £19.99. So I thought, you know, I'm just going to I'm just gonna buy this. It was a good film. I did enjoy it. A lot of people didn't really enjoy it. But I did. Uh, for some reason. Because I just appreciate Batman and, Batman and Superman. In this movie and I give so much credit to Zack Snyder he tried his hardest with this movie and but he definitely made up for it in the Snyder Cut though of Justice League that was incredible the best four hours of my life but yeah guys I I picked this up uh, for £90.99 and I'm really glad I did so guys if you haven't picked up Batman vs Superman Remastered I highly recommend you do this will also be a really good one to put in the collection um, for my third pickup that I managed to get today was on 4K, and that was Ron Perlman's Hellboy. It finally got a 4K release. It was on a 2 for 30 deal, and I couldn't skip on this movie. This movie was absolutely incredible. 
I grew up I grew up watching Hellboy and we don't even talk about the David Harbour movie. Uh that one that one was a complete mess. Um don't get me wrong, I loved David Har Harbour as Hellboy. He had the look and everything, but the script was absolutely terrible. Like I don't know what the director was thinking. If the movie had a really good story to it, it would have been a success and we would have got a Hellboy 2 from David Harbour, but sadly we didn't because the movie didn't make a hell of a lot of money but i spotted this out of the corner off on my eye guys this this was one of the movies that was on my list today to get um and i was just i i couldn't believe my eyes when there was one last copy so i thought you know what this is mine i'm picking up this movie ron perlman he's the og hellboy and i think a lot of you people out there can definitely agree, agree with me that ron perlman is an absolute fantastic hellboy he played the role of him so so well it sucks we never got a third movie that would have been amazing to finish off the trilogy of Hellboy but guys I can't believe this movie got a 4k release and I'm so so proud I was able to pick it up today uh, for my next pickup I got on 4k was Wonder Woman on a 2 for 30 deal I also do own Wonder Woman 1984 I didn't at the time own Wonder Woman on 4K, but I saw it on a 2 for 30 deal, and I couldn't I, I couldn't resist. This movie is amazing. It was probably one of the best DC movies that I've ever seen. Uh, second place coming in with Aquaman. Uh, but yeah, guys, this movie was amazing. I'm so glad that it's got a 4K release. Also, I was, hold, I, I was holding off for so long, I'm getting this on 4K, but now I finally have it. Uh, my, my DC 4K collection is now complete, and Gal Gadot, man, she is amazing as Wonder Woman, playing Princess Diana, and you learning the whole origin story about Wonder Woman in Themyscira and everything. Wow, this is such a great movie. It was way, 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 way better than Wonder Woman 1984. I don't know what the director was thinking, but to be honest... I'm giving her another chance with Wonder Woman 3. I know I know it's going to be a lot of pressure, but apparently there's rumours going around that Zack Snyder is going to be directing it. So I think we can definitely tell Zack Snyder would definitely do a good job with that. But yeah, guys, I picked up Wonder Woman. I saw it on a 2 for 30 deal. And I was just like, you know what? I'm snagging this one too. And I'm really glad I did. It was such a great film. And if you guys have not seen Wonder Woman, I highly recommend you do. Such a great film, guys. And, and also a really cool pickup. Uh, for my next pickup, I got on 4K was the DC movie known as Watchmen. I got this on a 2 for 30 deal. I have seen this movie in the past, and all I can say is, guys, is wow. This movie is insane. It is violent. It is just, it's just everything you would want to see. Uh, there, there are a lot of cast members in this movie. We've got Jeffrey Dean Morgan, as, as we all know, uh, from The Walking Dead. Uh, we've got Patrick Wilson, as we're all known for him being in the Conjuring movies. But guys, this movie is, is amazing. My favourite character out of this movie is Rorschach. He is such a badass. I love him. It, he, he just, he just pretty much is one of those characters that I connected to so so quickly. And but yeah, guys, this movie is amazing. I, I was so glad to see this on a two for thirty deal, and the, and I thought to myself, you know what, I'm 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 snagging this movie also, especially it being on four K, guys. It looked absolutely gorgeous on four K, and it was definitely worth picking up. If you guys have not seen this, I highly recommend you do. It would definitely be one to put in the collection for sure. Uh, for my next pickup, I got on another two for thirty deal, was Dracula Untold with with Orlando Bloom. I have seen this movie, this movie is great, but the movie is very dark, like you can hardly see what's going on, uh, I don't get why they have to film these sort of movies in the darkness, like you just can't see what's going on, in 4K I still couldn't see anything, it was so dark when they went into the battle, uh, but I appreciate it for what it is, it is, it is a good film, uh, Orlando Bloom did suit the role as Dracula, and but wow, uh, this movie was quite violent. I enjoyed it. Uh, but yeah, guys, it was on a two for thirty deal, and this this was one of the movies that I was after today. And but I'm so glad that I did pick it up. Don't get me wrong. I'm really really glad that I picked this movie up because this was one I've been wanted for for quite a long time. 
and I'm so glad that I also managed to snag this today also. Uh, for my next pickup, a bit of childhood nostalgia shall I say, I got on 4K on a 2 for 30 deal was the 1998 Godzilla. This movie guys is such nostalgia. I grew up loving this movie and to have it now on 4K is an absolute blessing. I love this movie to bits. Uh, that was when I moved on to the MonsterVerse legendary Godzilla. That that Godzilla is, is such a badass. I love that version of Godzilla, but I also appreciate this one also. I, I got this movie on a 2 for 30 deal. Uh, oh, no, sorry, sorry, on a 3 for 30 deal, but I just got it for £19.99. Uh, but yeah, guys, this movie was a childhood nostalgia for me. I loved this movie of, of Godzilla. And for it to have a 4K release is absolutely incredible. I cannot wait to watch this and I cannot wait to relive that childhood memory once again. And for my last and final pickup, guys, on 4K was Black Hawk Down. I got this on a 3 for 30 deal, but I also got it uh, for £90.99 also to add to the pile. I have never seen this movie before, guys, but I'm very much looking forward to seeing this. I have had a lot of recommendations from people to check out Black Hawk Down. It is a war movie that I've been trying to find and finally I found it in, in HMV on 4K that was definitely one of the ones I was after and I'm very much looking forward to watching this guys and from what I have seen I have watched clips of this in 4K and it looks absolutely incredible it looks intense it, it looks amazing the the sound effects look look incredible and it in spe um, especially being in 4K will make it a oh, hundred times better so guys I, I was so glad to pick up this one also well guys that is it for all my pickups today in this blu-ray hunt i really hope you guys have enjoyed the blu-ray hunt i would definitely be doing another one next saturday with with my blu-ray gang as you guys have seen them this was an absolute successful blu-ray hunting vlog i managed to get some 4k deliciousness steph managed to get some steelbook deliciousness also and also Smith Boy Reviews picking up the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Blu-ray 3D Steelbook and also Once Upon a Time in Hollywood on Blu-ray. These were some successful pickups today guys. I'm, I'm so so proud that I was able to break my wallet again and yes my wallet is hurting just to let people know out there and yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to leave this, uh, this video a massive thumbs up and also don't forget to press that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell guys to be uh, notified when I upload a brand new video and in that saying guys let me know down in the comment section down below what you managed to snag in today's blu-ray hunt and also wherever you are in the world let me know down in the, in the in the comments what you managed to pick up this week and in that saying guys this as what I say again this was a successful blu-ray hunt I cannot wait for next Saturday to break the wallet again and in that saying guys thank you so much for watching I really hope you guys are all safe out there and I'll see you in the very next video. Until then, guys, happy Blu-ray hunting and peace.